Brauntöne und eine große Leinwand. Wow, that's a good start. Um, let me first go to live chat so I can see you guys. Hey, people. Hallo, Freunde. Hallo, Frido. Bodil. Um, this is a live recording. If you're there now, you can chat with me. If you're there later, watch the recorded version. I might talk to people chatting. Um, and next time you can be on time, 1.30 Pacific time, Mondays. I'll be there. Hi, everyone. Uh, <laughs> just a small canvas today. <coughs> Let me show you the one from last time. Okay, so first one did not survive. Second one though. <laughs> mm. Awesome. Love it. So one thing about these canvases, it's a Blick Premium. Um, it's a very... So... <clears throat> one second. Um, so it's a very rough canvas, which I was not aware of, but I actually like it. So if I think about fluid art and what we are all doing, you want to slide the paint over your canvas, substrate, whatever. And in theory, you want it smooth as French toast. So it can move without irritations. Um, so when I bought these canvases, it was online, so I obviously did not, you know, no, did not really research a lot. So those are medium priced Blix. Prim oh, Premier is the name, traditional profile. Um, oh, it says, have, oh no, wait, natural cotton, that's what it says. So I know nowadays or you can get canvases that are super duper smooth, especially for this way of painting. Um, but I really like the way it looks. I like the roughness and I like the, hmm, hard to say, it, it's... I don't know. I like canvas texture. There you have it. Uh, turned out wonderful. And I said you said already that um, I scraped the first one. Didn't take long. I just was not not, not my not my kind of thing. Um, this one though, I really like this. So the black and the Prussian blue. Mm -hmm -hmm. And then. So this piggy release, uh, I think it's one of my favorites. And especially the three colors that I used last time, it was Storm, Wild Atlantic and Abalone. And the Abalone one, I was a little bit scared of because I thought it might be too kitschy. You can see it here. Yeah. Sorry, oops. Can't wait until the, I think on the 13th they come out. And then you gotta order on the 13th and wait until they're at your house. God damn it. All right, oh, it was hanging on the wall. Oh, this orientation is nice too. Okay. Today, I had a bunch of fluorescent pink mixed up, um, had a cleaning day yesterday and had this big old tub of fluorescent paint that I did not use. So we are going to use it today. Oh, I did a bunch of paintings yesterday, so there's not that much left, but um, let me show it to you. 
So this is groovy. Hello, Zoo. Sue, Zoo, 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 Zoo. Österreich. Um, yeah, Frido. But I think it's the same day everywhere in every country. So this is groovy. This is a TLP2. Um, those fluorescent ones are pretty hard to mix up. I found they're very coarse. What I do is disperse them in a little bit of alcohol, a tiny bit, as little as you can use, um, and they dissolve right away. But you have to be careful to not thin it out too much. Sometimes I just wait a little bit if I use too much alcohol and it evaporates so it doesn't get too thin. Or I mix the whole batch up and then wait. Okay, so that was groovy. I have a black, another one from the new release, which is again adventurous. Um, forgot the name. It has a weird name. Uh -oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, let me find it real quick or not. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Axolotl. Axolotl. Axol. Axolotl. <laughs> Axolotl. Um, it's a pink, but it has a purple shift to it. Still, you know, um, those people make me use colors, man. I would never think of it using. So if you can see the dried paint in the cup, especially on black, you can see the blue purple shift, maybe not. And before I, um, Drip it all over my table. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> then my favorite paint brand is, as you know, well, no, that's actually a lie, but I really, I do like him a lot. Not sure if it's my favorite. This definitely is my favorite. That is Super Pro Gold is the Interference Gold. It's empty. Don't you worry, I ordered more. Nova color. So I'm using this. And then I have an Indenthrone, Indenthrone blue and a turquoise pearl. Haven't used those a lot, but I mixed them up just to see. At first I just did the blue ones, mixed the blue ones up. And I thought I can't always do just blue, so doing some hot pink with it. Sorry, infusing tea. Don't be sorry about that, Jessica. Mm. Okay, those are those colors. Then I have a black for my faux pillow. It's same consistency as all the other colors. The only difference is I have way more of it. Uh, duh, duh. And then, okay, cell activator. Here's the thing. I made one out of piggies. Um, and that's hustle. So, do you know how to make a I'll just tell you real quick. So I use one part pigments, one part port. Oh, that's the wrong one. This is the gloss heavy gel Liquitex. And actually I have tried other gloss gels and matte gels. Uh, so far only the Liquitex worked. So Liquitex matte gel, please. Because that seems to do different things than the gloss 
one. So if you have a matte pigment like the one that I have here, it's a fluorescent, no sparkle at all, you can use just the matte, one part pigment, one part matte gel, and then you add, you mix those two, then you add Australian Floetrol until you have the consistency you want. That's what I did with this guy, and that was groovy. No, hustle. So let me show you the differences. Oh, it's right here. This guy's groovy, and this guy's hustle. So this is more magenta y pink. I don't know. This is more towards blue. Uh huh. Oh, and if you have a pigment that is glossy, you want to mix the matte and the gloss gel so you can get that bling back. I should make a video about that, shouldn't I? Yannick is here, Dee is here, Odile is here, Robin, Andrea, August, Kat. Joyce, Janice, all my friends are here. Um, where was I? Let's layer the canvas and just play around. Um, it is, wait, is there a pink one? Yeah, it's not dry, I can pick it up. Um, making that hot pink work the way I want it to work is pretty hard because I want that I want that hot pinkety in it, but you know, we're stretching multiple times and it's quite tough for me, at least. Okay, let me flip you around. Canvas is already there. Ooh, that's my ceiling and that's my canvas on my spinner. Don't worry, I didn't clean it up. It's just, oops, <laughs> it's a different one. I don't think I can clean my spinner up anymore, actually. It tripled in size. Like those arms are not, I think this is one and a half inch and, here, let me show you. This is what I made out of it. See the difference? <laughs> That's like... <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, those are the one and a half inches. I did double it in size. Um, and it's not that I leave my paint on there. I do actually scrape it off, but I guess not enough. Okay. Um, there. <laughs> Karin, zum Knubbeln. Ja, gerne. Ich habe gestern den ganzen Tag geknubbelt. Yummy tea. Tea, sorry. Let's read in German. Um, okay, I think I will start with the blues. Well, actually, I will start putting my gloves on if I can find them. There's one. And there's the other one. Cool. Yay. <laughs> So I try to reuse my gloves. I actually like to not wear gloves at all, but um, I think I have to. All right. Then we need the pillow paint. I have down here, just give it a quick, short, Stir. Uh -huh. And then put my 
top on Knubbeln und einen Kaffee. <lacht> ja, komm vorbei. Ein Stück Kuchen bitte noch. Einen deutschen Kuchen aber. Oh, Zwetschenkuchen. Kommt und bringt mir Zwetschenkuchen. Okay, sorry, Chris. Habe ich über das Knubbeln geredet? <lacht> I just talked about peeling of paint. There we go. Okay, because if this paint here dries and you put it on a new can, it will become wet again and then... Um, how do you say that? And then... Well, you know, you have boogers in your paint. That's, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I mean, I do... Oh, shut up. <sighs> okay, let's paint. See how rough that canvas is? Um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I think I'm a fan, even though I shouldn't be, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. I said I wanted to start with the blues. I actually will start with the gold. Um, Joyce, you can also check Amazon for those tops. I think I, for one of the teaching events, I had it shipped with Amazon. But even there, it was not very easy to find them. And if I found them, they were like super expensive. Um, I'm not sure if I got them from Home Depot or just my local hardware store, which is an Ace. But like any paint store should have them really, it, at least like, I would assume. Okay, next one is this guy. This is the turquoise pearl. It's not really turquoisey though. It's more like a, almost like a true, like a cyan blue. It's nice and very um, vibrant blue. I love it. This is the other Nova color. Just a little bit because I think those are very intense. All right, um, <laughs> let's do, okay, hmm, I think I want to do a little bit of that, that's the, I forgot the name again, there's too many A's and O's and X's in there, and I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here, but, but I did it. Okay, this is groovy. And I think I want to do the same thing. I mean... So I tried in my previous adventures with groovy. I tried to use a lot. I tried to use a tiny bit. And it's, yeah, um, let's do this now. 
I'm more or less clueless how to use that in a good way. Ah, oh, boss cop apple. I actually can't complain about the um, fruits. Oh, sorry. Um, I read German. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. Ah, blah. Let's not talk about apples. What I was gonna say is that I can't complain. There's a lot of heirloom at our local farmers market. We have a wonderful um, farmers here. I should leave it like that, huh? Just spin it out, do a little flake. Damn, should I? No. This is fairly thick, thicker than usual, not on purpose. So I'm doing this, just moving it a little bit faster. So my layer will be thinner. Okay, I don't think I've ever had such a thick Oh, pillow, let's see what happens. Maybe it's a good thing. You know, I'm doing this almost every day. And I was just thinking that the other day that I might get used to, it's like with everything, you get used to your stuff, like the way you do things. And at one point you stop thinking about what you're doing and um, knowing me, it's since I don't measure, I could easily slip into a total different ratio than I used a few years ago. Um, so I was wondering if my um, little success I had in the last days, weeks, could be because I'm doing something different and they're not even realizing it. Does that make sense? It's like, I don't know. All right, pop the bubbles already. Um, oh, right. We have the Hustle S cell activator. I have black and I do have gold and white. Let's not do gold, even though I almost put it on. Let me, let's just do the hustle for starters. Okay. And then, hmm, I know that there's some pink, so let me do, I don't know. Ooh, oh, so cool, oh, so cool. <laughs> so I used the two blues together before. And the way they worked together was awesome. So I thought I tried it again. Oops. 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 Keep saying oops because <laughs> this white part here is pillow paint there. I went really deep into it, which is okay to a certain point. There's so much paint on there that when you dig in very deep, you're still able to make it work because all that paint goes in that place where you dug in before. Um, hmm. 
All right, I think I want to just spin this out. What do you think? Should I? Is anybody talking to me out there? <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey, everybody who's new, I will just spin it. Will I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is happy giggling. Um, love that. Not a big fan of what happened here. There's my pillow paint again, and I think I did that before right here. Um, and you can ask. Uh, so what I love about that super pearl gold is it shines through that black. Once the black gets transparent, and you can, it's like the, it's pretty. That's all. Um, hmm, what to do? I know I'm not gonna like it. Only because, so if I spin more, my favorite part, this part here, is gonna go closer to there and this will get bigger and that doesn't seem that interesting to me to be honest but let's how about we not judge <laughs> wouldn't that be awesome like seriously what would not judging do to the world Okay. I mean, it's still interesting, but I just know it's... Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Let me spin more. This is definitely... Um, yes. Ooh. Ooh, I forgot. Well... <laughs> Ooh. Well, once you tilt it, it's okay. I'm going to go this way. What do you think about those blues? All right, guys, I'm going to do it again. It's it's kind of cool. Let's see what happens if I spin more. Hmm. I think the mix of that groovy and the axolotl, now what is the name? Damn. Is um, pretty cool with the blues too. Good combination of colors. Um, well, I'm not hating it. <sighs> Decisions. No, it's kind of cool. Um, 
and it is kind of cool. I will get rid of this if I can. And then I might be happy with this one. We're going to do another one though. If you're okay with that. Oh my God, Hustle as a cell activator. Yes. Please. It's still moving. So, um, this is the toughest part, I think. A lot of people stop tilting and spinning too early. It's really hard to tell with this because the paints are so very thick and um, it takes a while for the paint to create all that mass so you can see it when it moves. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> a lot of op opaly. It's weird, but I do like it. Okay, one more spin. Did I finish my thought, my earlier thought? Oh, it's hard to see that the paint is still moving. And I hold my paintings 90 degrees upright, like perpendicular to my spinner to see if still things are moving or not. Well, I'm glad I followed this is um, weird enough to keep. That's probably what my parents said when they saw me first. Okay. Actually, no, they don't like weird stuff. <laughs> They're pretty normal people. Okay. Lovely normal people. Hello, Papa. Hello, Mama. <laughs> All right. Cleaning my hands. So the cool is, cool thing, let's start here. And that's where the axolotl, ah, whatever it's called, that's where Axel comes in. Hello, piggy. We're, we're showing off um, Hustle as a cell activator and Axel here which is axolotl, I don't know. Okay, this is my favorite cell right here, there. Um, and then let me show you that gold shift. It really comes out when it's dry. Yeah, the ribbon in the corner, this one. Mm -hmm. So the black got really transparent there. Don't ask me why, it was so thick. And then that's what I was talking about earlier, those two blues with that gold underneath. Um, it's, it's, it's a very pretty, what's the name for it? Gradient. And then there you see the excellent, gosh, let me read it again. Axolotl. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad, Yusika. Huh? It was okay. All right. Uh, all right. Um, how about a bigger one? What do you think? I should have enough paint. 
if you guys have time, I'm in. Or we can do another small one too. Hello, Helga, we get steering. Wanna go outside? Okay, so. Um, all right. So I only have a 20 by 20. Good thing about this is bigger canvases don't take longer. Not really, at least. Then smaller ones, am I right? Yeah, I've <laughs> well, go big or go home. The good thing is I'm already home. But also, oh, I might have to switch the spinner though. Let me see. Cause this is a spinner that I made smaller than it usually is. So that's a spinner I made for my students. So I don't have to bring in the big guys. Okay, just cleaned out. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. Whew, I'm glad I didn't give up. All right, let me put this aside. Oops, I Oh, that's pretty. Oh my God, would that be? <gasps> now I'm scared I'm gonna. I should shut up. I should shut up and just paint. Okay, putting a little bit of water on my canvas. It's actually hot water from my tea. Because <laughs> I don't have anything else right here. It doesn't matter. It still works. It might even work better. Okay, let me see if that fits on there. Oh yeah! Oh, I had no idea. Cool. That's a 20 by 20. Oops. Nice. Let me get you a little higher. And then I have to see, oh, that was actually not bad. So I have to check on my other screen to see what you guys see. Well, that's okay, isn't it? All right. Let's do the same thing. Just better. <laughs> Quite a little bigger, isn't it? I also got my head right out again. Um, and boy, do I like it. Not today, though. So let's do it the same way we did it before. Hello, Andreas. There's a hair on the ox. Oh, the hair on the real fish, you mean. Oh, it's not a fish, it's a salamander. Oh, that makes sense. It looks like one. It looks like a... Mm, I don't know the word in English. In German, you say molch. A kleiner molch. Okay. I will first... Um, Just 
to this. Um, so this paint, the Nova, Nova paints, are very thin, but they are, it's almost like the, um, what's it called, the fluid acrylics by Golden, that um, the, the consistency is thinner, but it's packed with pigments. So I'm using the my PM that was in the skirt bottle, not to thin it out, more to... Well, I guess it's thinning it out, but um, there was too much. <laughs> the ratio was wrong. Ooh -wee. Okay. Still pretty saturated. Okay. So, and I did not use a lot of the pink. I think that was a good idea. Let's do that again. At first, we're using what was the super gold. This is the turquoise pearl. Is it called turquoise pearl? Yes. And see that it turns actually green. Makes sense because gold is usually yellowish. Okay. That's blue. Can use a little bit pouring medium too. Hi, Bonnie. And hi everybody else who I didn't say hi to. I'm so happy you guys are here. I'm actually blown away that anybody's interested in this. <laughs> okay, put a little pouring medium in there. And see, and um, if you're not sure, I usually add pouring medium until the saturation changes. So if this gets a, a lighter tint to it, that's when I stop adding pouring medium because that means um, what does that mean that there's <laughs> too much pouring medium in it and if if you get at that point and still need a thinner consistency that's when you add some of the varnish because that makes it thin way quicker than your pouring medium because it's thinner. Where did I put my paper towel? Okay, so there's our blues. And then did we do the axolotl first? I wonder. I have, I already forgot. Um, What did we do? I think we... Oh well. We will see. I would never buy a color like that. I'm serious. I would never. Ever. Isn't that funny? Here we are. Well, I haven't bought it yet. <laughs> All right. So that did not clean my tool. So there's still some axolotl underneath my groovy. Did I use groovy? Oh, for a second I thought I put the cell activator on it. 
All right. Let's do some shenanigans here. Who knows if that helps? Oh, no, I remember. That's exactly what we did before. Just to see, I'm going to do this. <laughs> okay. Almost looks like an axolotl. <laughs> Ax axolotl. Axolotl. Is it just me? Is it hard to say? <laughs> yep, Andreas, neon. And guess what? We're gonna do a neon, neon select later too. Thanks, Tanya. Cotton oil. Is that what it is? Cotton oil. Okay, guys. I'm not gonna say ax axolotl anymore. It's cotton oil. Sorry, pouring another tea. My Japanese tea that I get from Germany. Because in Germany, if you knew it or not. <sighs> it's the best green tea company in the world. It's called Keiko. So if you like green tea, if you're in Germany, go to Diepholz and buy yourself some Shincha. Sorry. <laughs> for advertising without getting paid for it. No, they are actually good friends of mine. Friends of mine's. Also, the thing about green tea has way more caffeine than coffee. That's probably why I like it so much. There's no better high than a green tea high. Let me tell you. Okay, toppings of puppets. Mm. Okay, there's that. Let's get to the black. Hmm. <laughs> Cotton oil. Can't get over that. I need my my little markers to know remember where I put my paint. Well, what did that do and why? Do I leave it? sure if I have to cover all the white. Of course not. I mean, hmm. I haven't done a, such a big painting for a while, at least in this um, technique. So I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. I will cover this up. At least I will try to. <laughs> okay. Swiping will do the rest.
Karin. Ja. Ich sehe auch schwarz fürs Pink. But do I? Wait, what am I gonna do? Oh, get my tool. Um, and I will. Oh, how about a clean tool, Jessica? Yep. The new me has an almost clean tool right there. Okay. Jetzt sehe ich pink für das Schwarz. Okay, this is Hustle, mein Cell Activator. All right, should I put some white on there? I think I should. Mm, just a tiny bit. All right. My paints are there. Oh, do you hear the fly? Hey, where's my blue? Oh, see how deep I can go? Did I put a lot of black on? I guess I did. No fly, go away, please. Um, well. I wanted to see more of the blue, but you never know. Again, don't judge before the spin. But also it would be nice to know beforehand if it's gonna show up or not. Especially with a size canvas like that. Let's just add a little bit, and this time I don't hate the white in there. Um, God, now it's two flies. So, Whew. I don't know if that was a mistake. We will see. And I will just go, wait, so there was my paint. The paint, so underneath those lines here are just an indicator. When I put the black on top, it will start spreading out immediately. That's why I got blue down there. Um, but it won't go away either. Like if it was in this space, there's still some blue right there. I'm going a little deeper. Whoa, I mean, I'm digging big time. That was like quarter inch at least. Wow, um, paint might be flying. Oh, that's the third flight. You gotta be kidding me. Um, I might have to be quick now. Still no blue there. All right. Baby spin for the win. It's rentig, was sich reimt, ist gut. Okay. Oh no, it's showing up. Right, let's get my black down there. Hello. See, people always ask me, what do you do to not have the canvas fly off the spinner? And you just heard that, right? I have to pry it off, it's so sticky. It's just the paint underneath that's drying on me. I'm not sure if other techniques do the same thing, I mean, because of the house paint, it might be 
stickier. Ooh, that's very 80s, guys, okay, very 80s. Um, kind of missing the, the blue that we had before. You know, the gradient of the two blues and the, and the gold. But this one is more minimal, which I like. Let me get to the corners. Lots of paint on there. Yeah, the black was... Ooh. Oh god, my mouth, my mouth is watering. <laughs> That's always a good sign. Oh. All right. Clean off my hands. Um, I'm gonna go. Hey, Hega, I know. <laughs> Hega hates the flies too. Revealing those bubbles. There's still a lot of paint on there. What did I do? And why? Okay, I'll bring everything in the middle. First. That one. Ooh, that was a good one. See that? Like when I pop the bubbles and there's the hot pink underneath. Square. White, not so much. But it could be that gold. And that would that would be good. Set I would like. All right, um, I will not tilt over to that corner because I want to save as much as I can from this, even though this looks good too. Mm. Okay. I will put this more in the center and give it a baby spin just to see what happens. Ooh, <laughs> this is kind of cool. That blue is just so oomphy. All right. Oop. Oh, holy cow, I want to say. And I will say, holy cow. Okay, where's my cotton arm? think oh this is cool I might not move it and spin again and I will lose a bunch of stuff and I do not want to 
use any of it. So, this is really cool. Very faint though. Mm. Maybe I go in this direction. And that blue oh it's a and I realized that um, oh now you see the cotton oil do you see it cotton oil. <laughs> um, oh the blue if you use that turquoise blue underneath the pearl turquoise um, the, f the effect is stronger the intensity is stronger okay <laughs> nuts all right let me get my paints out of the way because I'm going to spin a little bit harder this time Out of the way, grotten oil. Okay. Put a little berry up so I won't get splattered. Oh, just the spinning looks great. Wow, that opened up. Oh, sh you see what I just did? All right, I know what to do now. I will go more that direction. So we have um, the part towards me as negative space, if that's possible still, because now I don't have that much paint left. Wow. Wow, can you see when I tilt? Do you see the shift on the sparkle? Pretty effing cool. a little bit of that movement that I liked in the beginning but um, that's 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 how this works <laughs> don't fall in love with it too early okay cleaning just the bottom And then I'm gonna give it one more spin just to hopefully so my last spins are usually to straighten things out. See how you can see the stretch marks here. My idea and hope is that when I spin it will kind of even this out because you know how it works. It force goes outwards equally Ooh. All right. and it kinda did oh. 
Is that too much? Oh my gosh. That's pretty a lot. Let me see if I can go downwards a little bit. And if not, this painting is done. I guess I should pay attention to the painting. Lots of opaly shifts in there. Still movement. Hmm. Okay, now my cells are starting to get wonky. Oh, some of them are so cold looking. Um, how much was moving? I didn't pay attention. One more spin. I did not expect this. I mean, um, I wish it was less busy because I can remember I said uh, this looks like negative space. Uh, not so much anymore rid of my gloves so I can get you down. Um, yeah, this is nuts. I will let it dry, definitely. And we will see if I like it then. <laughs> Where's the skull? Do I see a skull? I do not. Okay, let's start here with a blue. It will change a little bit. So I love these guys. And that's the mix of the gold, the pearl blue, and the blue. And then the nebula kind of thing with the cotton oil in it. Still don't know when I did this guy. Did I scoop and drag? I don't think I scooped and dragged. And I'm trying to get the shimmer. I don't know if you guys see that. And then I love how when the paint gets transparent and you see it from underneath, that's really cool. Oh, there's a really cool bubble pop. Um, let me see. So this is... The, the, just this here, um, let me see if I can get, uh, the shimmer in it, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, there's definitely the cotton arm in there. Uh, so this is black, but I know when this is dry, it will be more like a gold, like a, cause that's what that interference gold does. 
Um, wow, there's there's a lot to see in this one. And I can't believe I said I will let it dry. <laughs> but I will. I'm just curious how it's going to look like when it's dry. And I think we all do that, a lot of us. Oh, yeah. There's the skull. There's another one. Um, what was I saying? I put you back in that tripod. Um, what? I will let it dry and a lot of times I let things dry and think to myself I will paint on them again. Who else does that? I have like a hundred paintings that I want to paint on and I never do. Mm, yeah guys. That was fun. Thanks for joining me and um, I'll be back next Monday. Am I? Yes. If you want extra lives, join my Patreon or my member stuff here on YouTube or Instagram or whatever. And you get a link to my next live that is just for the supporters. And what I started doing there is every painting I do, one of you guys will get all you do is pay for shipping and tell me that you want it and whoever's first gets it um well, i don't know what else i uh, love you guys if you have questions put them in the comments because i might miss stuff here in the chat mm. gute nacht freunde see you soon Bye-bye.